My daughter is really excited about going to preschool next year, but she's not allowed to go until she's been potty trained. Now, I know they make potty training toilets that look like cars and princess castles, but when you have an engineer Star Wars nerd dad like me, you're gonna end up with a potty training toilet that looks like the Sarlacc pit that Boba Fett falls into from Star Wars. Wait until you see what happens when I flush this toilet. My daughter hasn't seen this toilet yet, so at the end of this video, I'm gonna bring her in here and show her her old toilet and her new toilet. I wanna see if this new toilet makes her more interested in potty training or just gives her nightmares. I guess we'll find out. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and here on Bite Size Engineering, I make ridiculous projects like this to get you excited about making your own creative ideas and unleashing your inner maker. The first step in this project was to disassemble the toilet and figure out how to mount a pneumatic cylinder. The pneumatic cylinder is attached to a lever arm that moves in the opposite direction when the cylinder is extended. If I want to electronically control the pneumatic cylinder, I need to attach a solenoid valve. This is the exact same setup and parts that I used in my over-engineered water bottle rocket video. All I have to do is apply 12 volts to the solenoid valve and that will extend and retract the cylinder rod. The pneumatic cylinder is obviously powered by compressed air, so I'll need to add an air compressor fitting. Next, I connected the cylinder to the solenoid valve using some blue tubing. With all of these components in place, I was able to test the pneumatic cylinder and solenoid valve. That linkage was too long, so I just cut it short so that it wouldn't protrude out the bottom of the toilet. Hum, da, dum, hum, da, dum, hum, dum, dum, dum. Hum, da, dum, hum, da, dum, 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 dum. This rod has to actually slip within this bushing here, so in order to lubricate that, I'm using cherry chapstick. Now obviously I don't want to launch the toilet bowl across the room, so I'm going to need to drill a little bit bigger hole. If you're not familiar with Star Wars, the only thing you need to know is that Boba Fett is a bounty hunter who works for the crime lord Jabba the Hutt. In the 1983 film Return of the Jedi, Jabba the Hutt has captured all of the heroes and he's about to execute them by feeding them into the Sarlacc pit. In this scene, the heroes start banding together and fighting back. During all of the commotion, Boba Fett is knocked overboard and falls into the mouth of the Sarlacc pit. For almost 40 years, Star Wars fans have assumed that Boba Fett died during this scene. It wasn't until recently in the live action Star Wars shows, The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett, did we learn that Boba Fett actually survived this incident. I have really enjoyed watching these two shows and that's what's inspired this project. The next thing I had to work out was how to do the teeth and the gums of the Sarlacc pit. I had the idea to print out these little cone shapes out of a flexible TPU material. Because they're flexible, this allowed me to glue them to the side walls of the toilet and kind of have all of the teeth pointing inwards. Then I used some modeling clay and kind of pushed it into place to form the gums around the teeth. This ended up working really, really well. With the teeth and gums in place, it was time to use more modeling clay to model the actual Sarlacc monster along with its tentacles. Yes, who's a good girl? You like it when I scratch your chin like that, huh? I definitely cannot leave that in the video. <laughs> Once I was happy with the Sarlacc monster and his tentacles, I used some acrylic paint to paint everything to look like it did in the movie. I 
I wanted to be able to do a couple of things when I flushed the toilet. So what I did first was I wired in my own switch inside here and soldered a couple of wires to that switch. That switch is then connected to a couple of things. The first thing I connected it to was the audio soundboard. When I flush the toilet, it plays sound clips from the movie. The second thing I want to happen when I flush the toilet is for the Sarlacc monster to kind of jump out of the pit. So I have that switch wired into a relay module which is then connected to the battery and the solenoid, and that closes that solenoid, which causes the monster to jump out of the pit. I also have a power button wired in here as well, which makes it easy to disconnect the battery. All of the electronics are housed inside of the toilet tank here, and if I wanna access the power button, all I do is I lift Jabba the Hutt's sail barge, and I can press the power button inside here to turn everything on. I wanted to make this as realistic as possible, which means having a Boba Fett to fall into the Sarlacc pit. I came up with an idea of 3D printing a little mold of Boba Fett and I'm going to mix up my own bath bombs and then put them into the mold so that I have a little bath bomb Boba Fett to throw into the Sarlacc pit. If you're like me, you're constantly making projects that have electronics in them. Maybe you're building an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi project, or maybe you're doing an IoT device, or maybe you're building a robot. All of those projects require a circuit board. When you design a PCB, you're gonna wanna use a reliable PCB design software, and that's why I'm recommending Altium Designer. Oh my gosh, I just spilled that all over the desk. What I like about Altium Designer is that it's an all-in-one platform. It's used by design professionals all over the world. If you're ready to get serious about PCB design, go down in the description and click on the link where you can get a free trial to Altium Designer. With your free trial of Altium Designer, you're gonna discover one of the things that I like about Altium Designer, and that's Altium 365, which is their cloud platform. Altium 365 allows you to save your project in the cloud. This means that you can collaborate with other engineers, work on various machines without losing your work. Altium Designer even takes care of all of the version control. That means that when you're sharing it with other people, you don't have to worry about what's the latest version of your project. So here's what you need to do. Go down in the description and click on the link to get a free trial of Altium Designer. After you install Altium Designer, you're gonna open it up and start playing with it. You're gonna start building your schematic, you're gonna place your parts, and then you're gonna generate your netlist, and you're gonna start routing all of your traces, and you're gonna see how easy it is to use. Once you're done testing out Altium Designer, you're gonna go back in the description and click on the second link, which will give you a 30% discount when you decide to buy a license. I wanna say thank you to supporting sponsors like Altium, and thanks to Altium for sponsoring my channel. I was really out of my comfort zone during this. I am not an artist, I am not a sculptor, and I'm definitely not a painter, but I can't believe how well this turned out. I've got this hooked up and I'm ready to show you how it works. So I'm gonna open up the lid here and turn it on. And now when I flush the toilet, the Sarlacc monster is gonna come out of the toilet bowl and you're gonna hear a sound being played from the speakers. Here we go. That was C-3PO describing the Sarlacc pit and how they'll be digested over a thousand years. Okay, we'll try it again here. That was the Wilhelm scream. Here's a little better angle for you. That was Han Solo trying to shoot the Sarlacc monster uh, while being blind, and Lando asks him to aim a little higher. My plan was to make homemade Boba Fett bath bombs, but the mold that I was using didn't work very well, so I'm gonna have to come up with a plan B. So here are the bath bombs that I made, and I just used an egg carton as the mold, so these will be my Boba Fett substitutes. If I can get one out. Oh crap, that just crumbled. Oh, gosh, this recipe really doesn't want to stay together. It just kind of crumbles apart. That's why the mold didn't work very well. I'm just going to go ahead and pour some water here into the Sarlacc mouth. And we'll see if we can get a little Wilhelm scream going. Okay, here he goes. Here goes Boba Fett. There he goes, Boba Fett's dissolving. Did you hear the Sarlacc belch at the end there? That was pretty gross. All right, 
Boba Fett, I'm gonna mix you up a little bit so that you get a little bit more fizzy. There's Boba Fett dissolving in the stomach of the Sarlacc. So here comes the moment of truth. I'm gonna bring my daughter in here and see what her thoughts are on her new potty training toilet. What? There's two potties. There's two potties? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Claire? What do you think about this? This is your old potty, and this is your new potty. Oh. What do you think? I think that's Bunny's potty. That's Bunny's potty? Oh. Which one would you rather use, this one or this one? I think Bunny's going to use this one and then... Bunny's going to use this one? And I'm going to use that one. And you're going to use that one. So you're going to make Bunny use that one? What? Where did the flusher go? The flusher? Why don't you push this flush right here? Can you push it and see what happens? <gasps> okay, let it go. <gasps> Whoa. Do it again. <laughs> what do you think? Is that cool? Can Bunny try it? Yeah, Bunny's gonna try it. <gasps> Peekaboo. <laughs> When you push that, it talks? Yeah. Yeah? Did you like it? Yeah, I like it. Good. Ew, worms! <laughs> <laughs> Ew, worms. <laughs> Bunny doesn't like those worms in there. Bunny doesn't like them? Yeah. Can you take them out? Yeah, I'll take out the worm. For Bunny. If you want to watch me build my own one wheel, you can click on this video here at the end. Whether you're making a Sarlacc pit potty training toilet with Boba Fett bath bombs, or some other creative idea that you come up with. I make these videos to get you excited about making things and unleashing your inner maker. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. Bye.